This is Hadina from Poland. I'm here to talk about the basis of learning styles. But not only that. I'm here because of Rob Howard. EFL Talks. This is a very important movement. Teachers by teachers with teachers and for teachers. We are given 10 minutes and we can use 10 slides to present our topic. So my topic is learning styles. Many people uh, think that uh, we have one special learning style. But the truth of it is, everyone has a mix of learning styles. Some people may find that they have a dominant style of learning. And uh, some would think that they use different styles in different circumstances. And you can see this learning pyramid. I'm going to talk about different sorts of learning styles. As you can see, I'm talking about the visual, logical, verbal, physical, oral, solitary style. Uh, it is very important for me as a long time teacher because I have been teaching over 40 years so I am really experienced and I do believe in recognizing my students learning style so we have seven significant learning styles. It's visual. So you prefer pictures, images and spatial understanding. We could use our auditory, musical preferences. So we like using sounds and music and for my teaching, this style is very important because I like teaching with the music. Music in English teaching. This is my one of my ways of working with my students. And I take advantage of the auditory skills of my students. Then we have verbal linguistics style when people prefer using words both in speech and writing. And uh, at schools in Poland, but I believe all over the world the linguistic approach is very important because my students are forced to learn the isolated vocabulary and the meanings of the words without any kind of context. So I'm very much against this one. Then we have physical, kinesthetic, when we prefer using our body, hands and sense of touch. It's all about the nonverbal communication, which is a very important approach in the learning process. And uh, I used to teach 
nonverbal communication and uh, the skills of using our nonverbal communication skills uh, it's very complicated but also important myself i'm very much into it and nonverbal communication sends very very much of information so as a sender i'm using a lot of nonverbal communication then there is a logical mathematical style and uh, i have many students who prefer using logic reasoning and systems and uh, i have a difficult situation when they ask me why you've got to use this rule to create passive voice of indirect speech and i just tell them there is a model and i give them the model and the question why is very difficult to answer just because the way people talk just because the society the nation the culture has an agreement that they would name the object or the situation in a very special way so this is about the code that we use in our social and cultural context social and interpersonal is uh, very updated nowadays uh, people say that they prefer to learn in groups uh, they prefer to learn with other people but myself i am not social learner i am solitary intrapersonal learner because i prefer to work alone and use self-study i can concentrate and i can focus on my work on my research on my project and i can depend on myself and uh, this is the way i learn this is the way i study of course i look at different ways of learning and studying and i follow the modern techniques but telling the truth i i am just solitary learner and the next slide is about visual spatial uh, learning style so people prefer using pictures images and spatial understanding and in this presentation i am using visual spatial style because i like using pictures and images and i think this is very easy to follow when you can see the information oral and auditory musical sounds and music as i told you i like it and i take advantage of this skill of my students i can see that i'm going out of my time but i need to finish the presentation it's physical kinesthetic uh, nonverbal communication learning by doing 
this is Nelly's approach too, and I love it. And I am for it. And I think this is very good and very effective approach. Logical and mathematical, and uh, if you are a logical learner, your aim is to understand the reasons. Understanding more detail is very important for you. It helps you memorize and learn and understand. And I'm also myself a logical learner. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me. This was Helena from Poland.